it's Adam from analytics team and now we're going to discuss problem B and its solution. So in this problem we had to satisfy some requirements for unrooted tree. So to do this we are going to use a standard approach dynamic programming on tree which, which has to be adjusted for this task. In this task um, we could satisfy the requirement by uh, doing two actions. It's either increasing the weight on the edges or putting the sign on the vertices. And the goal is has to be all weights are equal for each vertex, the which doesn't have a sign. So um, as there are two actions, what we can do, there are also like two cases for our dynamic programming. So first case is that if uh, we are going to make all the weights equal. So uh, for these purposes, we have to first uh, select uh, the weight and we have to make sure that this weight is on all of the edges. So we are uh, doing this recursively. So let's assume we already evaluated the dynamic programming value for all our children. So now uh, the DP value for some weight is just uh, sum for DP values of all the children. And there is a second case when we are putting the sign. So in this case, the edges does not have to be of equal weights. Um, so the value in this case will be just the cost of the putting the sign is uh, some constant c multiplied by the uh, d degree of this vertex b. And uh, from our ch child, we have to just select the best what they have. So uh, along with the dp values, we are going to maintain some additional uh, value best. For all children, which is just as a minimum among all dp values for uh, these vertices. And uh, these are the two main cases. However, for second case, we should also consider uh, changing the weight of the outgoing edge because it might be useful for the next vertice if we don't want to put a sign on it. Uh, so uh, that's it, and uh, this uh, solution requires us uh, n square uh, time and the uh, memory, and uh, which is fits the requirements. That's all.